Bristol Rovers uh, in club scarves and shirts were at Downing Street today to hand over a petition to the Prime Minister. 13,000 supporters have given their backing to the plan for a new stadium and opposing a legal challenge that could stop it. At stake is whether the club's existing ground at the Memorial Stadium in Hallfield should be developed as a Sainsbury supermarket. Our political correspondent Bob Constantine reports. They came to Downing Street with their shirts, scarves and banner. And of course, their song. Bristol Rovers say they want their voice heard in the campaign for a new stadium. They're not going to be held back by a few people who think Bristol's a village. Bristol's a world-class city. We want people to know that. I just really, for people to take notice, because I feel like we're being hijacked a little bit in Bristol by a very, very small amount of people. At stake are two schemes which depend on each other. A new stadium for Bristol Rovers at Filton can only happen if Sainsbury's can build on their current home at the Memorial Ground. But the whole deal's under threat because of a legal challenge. Today, club officials and the local MP handed in a 13,000 signature petition to the Prime Minister, supporting the new stadium and opposing the judicial review. Uh, what it does is highlight the problems that are caused by minority groups when you've got a major project that affects a lot of people in the area and is great and is great for the area and produces something, massive investment to the area, um, good for the city of Bristol, puts Bristol on the map, and it's been held back by a minority. But opponents of the Sainsbury scheme deny trying to wreck the new stadium. They've raised £20,000 to challenge the way approval was given. They argue the memorial ground is reserved for sports use and that the impact on Gloucester Road shops was not properly considered.